Wickham Wanderers are looking to bounce back from successive defeats against the Huddersfield side with just one away league defeat all season. Back down the line by Hunts. Here for Huddersfield. Patience in possession as they probe for the opening, which might fall here for Lee Novak. That's a fine save from Nicky Bully. Just got fingertips for that one. Novak who hit it. Was on target, but for the goalkeeper. And she forward for it, and it's there. It's Oscar Gobert. And Huddersfield have the early lead, just 10 minutes on the clock. And Goban scores just his second goal for the club. The defender on the line couldn't keep it out. And Goban's header from Roberts' corner gives Huddersfield the early lead. 16th game now without a clean sheet for Wickham, but can they respond at the other end? This is Marcelo Trotter. Holds it up whilst he looks for support in the middle. Trotter might go it alone and does, but it's straight at Ian Bennett. Looks into space for Jack Humpty as well advanced here. It's a good ball in. It's John Rhodes. It's 2 0 Huddersfield. Well, he just can't stop scoring. Jordan Rhodes again. It's number 22 of the season already. And it was a fairly straightforward side-footed finish after a well-timed run in between the Wickham defence to capitalise on an excellent ball in here from the fullback Jack Hunt. All Huddersfield so far. This is Novak again. It's another tester. No more than that, really, for Nicky Book. Certainly prepared to shoot on sight. Smith with the throw. This is Gary Roberts. It opens up for him. It's a real chance for Roberts. And he's dinked it just over the top. For Rhodes to chase. Strong play from Jordan Rhodes. He will get there. Can he finish? Of course he can. This is Jordan Rhodes we're talking about. It's 3 0 Huddersfield. We've only been playing 25 minutes, but they're almost out of sight already. The second of the game for Jordan Rhodes to shrug off the defender Grant Basie to score. Looked second favourite at one stage, but he was just too strong for Basie and then picked out the bottom corner. The defender has just completed a permanent move from Peterborough with a moment to forget there. And then presented with this sort of opportunity. Rhodes does not miss at the moment through the legs of Mickey Ball. Ball in, punch clear by Ball. Range is not away yet, though. Here's Roberts. Gary Roberts with another teasing ball in, and the header just too high. Well, they are threatening to run riot here, Huddersfield. Jamie McComb up from the back this time. Billy really should have scored. Rhodes could be in again. Jordan Rhodes for the hat trick. It's saved by Nicky Ball, but back to Rhodes, and that is the treble. It's 4-0 Huddersfield and Jordan Rhodes again in front of the watching scouts from the Premier League. Well, with every goal, his valuation will only increase. Huddersfield insists he's not for sale this season. He could be the man to take them into the championship. He's taken them well clear here. It's his 24th goal of the season. Three of them have come tonight. We're only four minutes into the second half. 4-0. Danny Ward in some space. He's quickly closed down, but he's still going. He's Danny Ward, and he gets his shot away. Parried only to that man. Jordan Rhodes again. He has four, and Huddersfield Town have five. Incredible. Again, it was a straightforward finish. After Danny Ward's shot had been parried straight to his feet, he was in the right place at the right time again. That is no coincidence for the second time this season. Jordan Rhodes scores four goals in a game. And this is getting embarrassing for Wickham. Here come Huddersfield again. Here's Jordan Rhodes again. Of course he is. He has five and Huddersfield goes 6-0 in front. Well, he's gone one better than his four-goal haul against Sheffield Wednesday last month. This is quite incredible. Running out of superlatives now to describe this performance in front of goal. It's 12 goals in five games. In just three weeks for Jordan Rhodes. Certainly giving the watching scout something to think about. Looking at it emphatically for a third successive defeat. Is there to be any consolation here? Bevan will have a go, but it's played at Ian Bennett. Gareth Ainsworth. Hangs in the cross onto the post. 
Well, they're certainly getting closer. Not sure that was intentional from Ainsworth. Pretty sure it wasn't. Certainly had Ian Bennett in some trouble. And he was a relieved man to see this bounce off the woodwork. What a win for Lee Clark's at this field. And beaten in five now. He has five of the goals. 6-0.